Hi everyone, Mary at Espresso Press Design. Welcome. Thank you for stopping by on this cloudy, lightly snowy January day. Today we're going to make some pocket hearts. But first, the usual um, show and tell. And I forgot to do my thank yous last time so I have them here um, thank you Hajer, Susan, Bev, Patty and Debbie, Dory, Kelly, Sylvia, Barbara and Robin thank you so much for your purchases and your kind reviews I have some new products out last week. I have some um, tea, tea, ATC cards. There's I think four pages and some corresponding tea pot paper. It's a little rustic, a little whimsical. Um, just kind of cute. I have a spring florals with these beautiful yellow, ivory, peach, green, very, um, very light and airy papers. I have some um, miscellaneous druggist labels, I think five pages. This is 10 pages. The teapots are 10 pages. And I have these new boho print florals. 10 pages. So, I had a busy week. So today, I, um, if I was smart, I would have used scraps, but um, I would have used these scraps. But these Victorian florals, I think, are so pretty. They were kind of crying out to me to do something with them. So this is what I chose for my... Um, heart pockets. I can't remember if they're called pocket hearts or heart pockets. And I made two. And this one is a little hanging one. Like so. And it's a layered. And this one is a smaller one just made with a die. And oh, I wanted to show you this. Um, this is something I made a long time ago for my daughter for Valentine's. And you can just take those candy box hearts and decoupage on them. I used to save them. <laughs> and then one year I did a whole bunch of decoupage on them. So that's a nice little thing to do for Valentine's. But, um... These hearts, you can make them out of anything. This is some jelly print. And these are just some I did out of book page to see if it would work. I used a die for some. And I have them cut out here. This is going to be a very quick demonstration because they're so easy. Some I made with the template, the larger ones, because I don't have a large heart die. I wish I did. Because hearts, hearts are a motif you can use any time. So I use a lot of hearts. Um, the first layer I did on packaging. So you'll need some packaging, some glue, 
And you'll need two hearts. And one is on packaging and one is just on paper because it's going to get folded. So I have some already cut out here. This is not going to take very long at all. And I thought I would um, kind of mix and match these papers. Maybe I should have done a little pattern. Now I don't know if this is how you make these. It seems like I saw people using some kind of template. And I wanted to do it last year, but I didn't get around to it. So I was just thinking the other day, why can't you just put another heart upside down and fold it over? And that's what I did. And it worked. So that's how I'm doing them. Rather than looking for a template. So I'm just going to line these up with the point, point to point, and then so I knew where to put my glue, I just drew a little line. And then because this is just copy paper. I um, just used a glue stick. It's not going to go anywhere. Lined it back up like that. And then I fold it over the two sides. Decided which one I wanted on the front. And then put a little glue. nearing the end. It's a little lumpy. Okay. Okay, if you hear my husband, he must be on the phone. Okay, so there's one. See how easy that was? And then I just, I made a larger one. I cut my heart larger and then I, you can either trim around the um, back or what I did was, I did it kind of like when you did decoupage and I just filed so it got nice and smooth with the edge of the packaging and that's how I trimmed my paper to get around that heart perfectly. And then I put a little lace behind the top one and it's raised a little bit. Both of those could have probably been put under a book. But um, super simple. Then I'm just going to fill the pockets and then I'll probably just keep these in my idea file because I don't know if I need anything else for Valentine's this year. So I don't forget.
So then, of course, you can use them as a loose pocket. You can use them as a tuck. as well. Then you have two. You, you'll want to be mindful of your pattern if you're using a pattern paper, but with this one it really didn't matter. Oh, I meant for that to be Am I using the same paper? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm just going to say I meant, meant to change that paper up a little bit. Maybe I should have used a pattern for the pocket or a book page or something, but I thought, well, it's Valentine's. More is more. I also could have outlined it with my pen. So there's the little heart. And then I have a bunch of little uh, hearts and things to put in there. Let me make sure I um, have my stapler here. You could put a little hole and hang them. So I think I have a bunch of little pieces here. Let me see if I have any on packaging. I saved every little piece of this because it's so it's so pretty. Um have a little tag here I made two little tags it goes in there little label where did my ladies go had a pile of ladies here Portraits. Oh, here they are. There's another piece of cardboard. Thought I might try to tuck one of those in there. Hopefully, I'm still in frame. So basically, I just made a little cluster. And I kind of uh, don't want to lose her flowers, but so let me see. One lady. Bird, no, not a bird. Or just another set of tags. Well, she's kind of in blue, and I won't have to worry about losing her flower. So let me see if I can get her arranged on a couple little tags here. And then I glued mine in. Of course, you can have this as a loose pocket. Um, I don't know about that either because she's not facing the camera. Let me try her.
Um, I don't know. I think they're getting a little too tucked in. Maybe I could put something on the front. Maybe that would be better. Oh well, I'm not going to um, try a little bird. That's not bad. Yeah, I kind of like the little bird. Let's see if I put him on a couple labels. Oh, I, don't, I hate losing the flowers, <laughs> but whatever. Well, I think I'm just going to go with three little things and then I can, um, I don't want to lose those flowers. String these up. I should have made some more buttons. That's what I should have did. These are cute and quick. I'm sure if you made them big enough, large enough, you could put a T in there or a chocolate. And they're a little, um, a little dimensional as well. So that's cute. These are so pastel. I would have loved to have found fabric like this. My daughter was a baby. For her nursery. That's why I love these papers. And I don't usually go for this pretty frilly stuff, but this really appealed to me. <laughs> I thought they were so pretty. Okay. Let me get one more little thing in there. Here's another little tag. Well, those are both the same. I'm trying to look for my scraps that are on packaging so they're a little more stable. Might have to make something else with blue. Let me just see if I can just put a little heart on there. And then I'll call that one done. Okay. So I'm just going to staple these. At the bottom. That did not staple right. 
fact that I didn't go through it all and it and it broke the staple. What the heck? Try that again. Put new staples in here. What is going on? Okay. Going to glue. No time for a stapler repair. That was my mom's stapler. Swing line in that it was Bakelite. It's ancient. My mom was a secretary, so she had to have good equipment. Eventually, the Bakelite crumbled, but I still use it, even though I have a dozen other staplers all around the house. Okay, I'm just going to put a little heart on there. Call that one done not hide all my beautiful flowers. Tuck that in there. So I have three things. And let me see if I can get some blue going on. So I don't have it all, um, so it stands out a little bit. Oh, here, what's this? Well, that might work. It probably will. Let me trim this. Good one, I still have some things on there. I was just trying to use every little piece of scrap to make these. But of course, you fill them how you desire. Look at that pretty flower. That's why I kept every little piece. There, there's a pretty rose. Then make something out of that. You could make these out of anything. Mixed media. Oh, I wanted that to be a uh, let me see what I can get out of there. Well, probably a tiny tag. Let 
Okay. Keep that little flower. Of course I will. I could get a little circle out of that maybe. Okay. Little rose. Little rose. Little blue. I like that one. So I'm gonna make add a tiny tag. Um so I use my teeny tiny. Glued. And another, let's do this one. Up. Oh. Okay, that didn't turn out right. That needs a repair. Okay, three little holes. Where are we? Twenty eight. I'm going to go right through that rose, but Okay. Okay. String. doesn't want to go through. Okay, tiny string. Here we go, little tiny tag. I'm going to put these over here because I don't want to lose that grouping on the other side. Definitely want this pretty blue flower. These are so simple. I was going to do a paper bead idea today, but I wasn't sure. I have to kneel down the tutorial on how to do this special kind of knot. So I was thinking of doing a new charm. And then I remembered these. And then I meant to learn how to do them last year and I didn't have time. So, 
Oh, those are so pretty. Look at those. Just beautiful flowers if you're a romantic. I think I had two other, two other sets of similar to get finished as well, but more vibrant, but just as beautiful. That's cute. Okay. Um, Oh, I wish I had a decent heart punch. I have a mini one, but it's so hard to press. I rarely use it. I think I might just put a little square on there. Instead of a heart. Yes, I think I will. Even though it's the same flower, I don't know, maybe. Or should I just put another tag and that's the same flower too? Um, do I have another little? Well, that's kind of cute. It's a different flower. Needs glued. I don't know if I'll get this in my punch. Maybe too small. That's pretty, the little. Let me see. Well, that turned out wonky. Why did I put it in the wrong one? I have to cut that again. Okay, you're just going to be a little square rectangle. Okay, two little tags. Those are glued already. Put these on this side. Now, I, I was also trying to avoid covering the um, V in the heart. So I was kind of trying to avoid that. You could put a little book, little tiny book in there. That would be cute. So I just have three little pieces of stuff. Okay, get these out of the way. I still have all those little scraps. Oh my, that is so pretty. This paper is just gorgeous. Oh, I could have used that. That would have worked. Oh well, let me get a white paper here. One, 
to three, four. Okay, everyone, there's your little hanging one layered and your easy pocket hearts. Okay, I hope I hope you found that helpful. If you need some quick little stuffers for your Valentine journal, I'm quite sure these will work. Okay, thanks for your time, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.